Hi, welcome back. Today's theme is stillness. Stillness and meditation. Now, usually when people hear the word meditation, they go a little bit crazy and, you know, fear sets in. And I hear so many people say, well, I can't do it. My brain just goes crazy, it goes into overdrive. I know the feeling. Now, stillness and meditation doesn't have to look a certain way. You know, uh, we kind of, when we, when we picture someone meditating, we sort of picture a monk with a shaven head sitting on the top of a mountain, you know, for, for hours on end. It doesn't need to be that way. I mean, I advise clients all the time to take an extra few minutes in the bathroom or in the toilet and just make sure that they're reconnecting with their breath throughout the day. Another way of doing it is last thing at night, sit up in bed before you sort of drift off to sleep or even lay down. But if we're laying down, we have a tendency to fall asleep really quickly, especially if we're tired. So if we sit up in bed and just allow the brain to empty and bring the focus to the breath, observe the rise and the fall of the breath. Just by focusing on the breath, it takes away the focus of, of thought. So what we're trying to do is to eliminate thought. Now that's not always the case in meditation, but for now, if you just start with that, focus on the breath and take a few minutes just to be still. Now you can start with 30 seconds. I always say that's a good place to start. No pressure, it's not a big ask. And then, you know, graduate every day, add, you know, a few seconds each day until you're somewhere around 10 to 15 minutes. Okay, now this could take you months, so don't panic. All right, just start with, you know, 30 to 60 seconds each day. And what will start to happen especially on this wonderful weight loss journey that you're on, you'll start to make choices regarding your wellness, dietary choices, exercise choices, that are much, much more conducive to you achieving your goals. And the coolest thing about all of this is, you'll start to make these choices without any intellectual knowledge of it you'll kind of end up with a plate of salad at the buffet bar and not really realised how you got there, how, how this happened, because you didn't plan on that. You didn't decide that today I'm just going to eat really nourishing, wholesome foods and, you know, skip over the foods that I know bring me down energetically or cause me to sort of crave more junk food. It's never in the plan. So the coolest thing about bringing stillness and meditation into our daily practice is that you will start to deepen the relationship that you have with your inner being, that inner voice that guides you, that inner kind of power that guides you every day towards cho making choices that, that are optimal for you reaching the goals that you have. So not only will you be out of the blue making wonderful healthy choices for yourself, you'll also start to understand the ins and outs of what goes on with your relationship with food, body and exercise and all of the mental and emotional um, implications that come along with that. So bring in a few minutes of stillness starting today now, if you've got um, a timer on your clock, watch, phone, whatever, it's a really good idea to, to time yourself and put it like an alarm to come on so that when you do go into stillness, you haven't got to worry about looking at the clock all the time. You know that once you close your eyes, it's all taken care of. There's nothing for you to think about. And there'll just be an alarm to alert you when it's time to open your eyes and come back to now. So give it a try. Start to sit in stillness, a minute or two a day, and until tomorrow, sending you so much love.